Hello and welcome to this video. Today, I want to talk about why software engineering might not be a good career choice for you and what reasons are why software engineering is not a good fit. And at the end of this video, I will also give my main reason why I think someone should not start a software engineering career. But before we do that, let me first introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm a computer science professor in Germany and I've been doing software engineering for more than 20 years now. I've been managing a globally distributed software engineering department with more than 100 software engineers. And my mission is to help you making the step from programmer to software engineer, helping you grow your software engineering career and being a more effective software engineering leader. So if you want to become a better software engineer or a better software engineering leader, then please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my content and I can help you. Throughout my career, I have had the chance to observe software engineers at different levels in their career, at different stages in their career from students in their first year in a computer science or software engineering program to graduates starting their first job in a software engineering world to people that already were in the middle of their software engineering career and also people that were at the end of their career were retiring from software engineering. So I've seen different stages different career levels and from that I have my list of things that are an indicator whether software engineering is the right career choice for you or not. So from all this experience, all these observations of different software engineers, I can let's start with the first one. Money is your only motivation and the emphasis here is on the only motivation. Of course, software engineering is a job that pays well and it is perfectly okay to choose this career path because you know it's a relatively safe one, that it provides you with decent pay, that you will maybe be even able to earn six figures or more and that it will help you or enable you to live the life that you want and to support your family and do this with the comfort of a high paying job. But the problem is if your only motivation is money, because if it's only money that motivates you to do software engineering and there is nothing else that you find interesting about this career path, then this is clearly not the correct or the right career choice for you. And you should look into other alternatives. Because if money is your only motivator, you will probably not stay in software engineering until you retire. The second sign, the second reason why a software engineering career might not be the right thing for you is if you are not the person that is okay with sitting in front of a computer all day long. If you are the kind of person that always needs to stay moving that doesn't want to sit down, that is not really comfortable in office environments, sitting at the desk all day, then yeah, software engineering might not be the right thing for you because there, most of the work that you do, most of the software you write, you write in front of a computer sitting at a desk and that is usually your full working day. Of course, there are meetings and, and there are things that happen in between, but the majority of the time you will spend in front of a screen sitting or standing in front of a computer. So if you don't like that, then this is another sign that software engineering is not for you. The third reason software engineering is difficult. It's something that requires a lot of concentration, deep focused work and you will solve problems a lot of the time and you will have that kind of problems where you will not be able to make progress for hours 
but you have to solve them. For instance, when you're debugging software. And if you're a person that either is not able to concentrate on such problems or that doesn't like to solve such problems, then software engineering might not be a good career choice for you. And now to my final and biggest reason why software engineering might not be the right career choice for you. And that is if you don't like software engineering, if you're not passionate about programming, about software engineering, if it's not fun for you, if you don't enjoy it, if you don't love it, then it's not the right career choice. Why is that? And that's for all career choices the same. If you don't love it, if you don't have fun while you're doing it, you can't be good at it. That's one of my strongest beliefs. That's one of the things that I'm really convinced of. If you don't love it, if you don't have fun, you will not be good at it, or at least you will not have a chance to be the best in your area. And who wants to do something where he or she cannot be good at, where he or she cannot enjoy what he or she is doing. So that's really something that you have to have for all career choices, but especially also for software engineering. Why does it matter for software engineering in particular? Well, when big aspect of software engineering is learning new things in software engineering, learning new programming languages, learning new frameworks, learning new tools. So if you don't enjoy this as well, the learning experience, the, the always looking into new things, then software engineering is not the right choice. If you want to do something where you learn it once and then you do it for 30 years and then you retire, that's definitely not software engineering because our environment, our world is changing in a very high pace and it will continue to change in that high pace. So you made it to the end of the video. This means you are probably interested in software engineering. You are interested in becoming a software engineer or you are already a software engineer and want to take your career to the next level. So please subscribe to my channel to not miss videos like this one where I can help you grow your software engineering career. If you have liked this video, if you have learned something or if you found it entertaining, then please smash the like button. And if you have questions, comments, suggestions, then please be part of the discussion in the comments below. And I see you in the next video.